Jaguar show is highly popular in Casper, and he goes, so are you, zombie. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you have fans. I have we, fans. We, we, gotta, we gotta find out if there's a professional wrestling organization there, and we could have you. I go got an email there. back from one of those places in Tennessee. Shut up. I did. Yeah. <laughs> You're fucking banned from talking. All you do is fucking talk. Mouth because I'm a co-host of a talk radio show. As a co-host, it is now officially your job to fucking be quiet. You know what, Bentley? It's your job to suck my fucking dick. I'm ready to speak now. I've been quiet the whole time. <laughs> hey! Hey! Bentley! Fuck you! No. Now, now, you guys got drunk with midgets, or one of you got drunk with she midgets. Got, yeah, midgets. okay, funny story about that. Tell us about uh, getting drunk with midgets. Uh, and, and this story would not be coming out, except for our good friend Joseph King in El Paso, a uh, great tattoo artist down there specifically requested this. Um, we were in El Paso at the Texas Tattoo Showdown. They had the pint Side Brawlers there for Midget Wrestling. And uh, this is the first the, time... The, the, the good Midget Wrestling company, the good by the way. <laughs> you say Midget Wrestling, I have a magic Well, it's, it's <laughs> pint Side Brawlers. They did stuff for, like, Jackass 3D and stuff. Um, yep. So we're out there, and I'm, I, you know, doing the camera thing for, for Beyond the Ink to get some footage or whatever, and my friend Ernie Bustamani... Uh, great uh, ta tattoo photographer. He uh, he came over and stood by me, and I didn't think anything of it, though I should have at the time. And uh, they they do their spiel and ask for uh, for audience participation, a volunteer to go up there. And he pushes me forward first thing. So long story short, I ended up getting humped by a midget on stage in front of lots of people, and it's on camera and everything. And that was fantastic, and that's how I first met them. Check that out on the YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh my goodness. Now, uh, anyway, um, so the second time I met them was in Denver at the Ink Live Tour uh, last month, and, and we're, we're all drinking at the hotel, and the cops show up, basically to tell everybody to go inside because they can't have their drinks inside, and for some reason the hotel staff couldn't tell us that, so they had the cops come out. And there's a... Uh, a couple of the midgets are outside, and, and I forget the gal's name. A couple of midgets are outside. A <laughs> couple of midgets. Uh, a little midgets, huh? <laughs> but uh, a couple of the midgets were outside, and I forget the one gal's name, but she's uh, apparently the shortest female living, um, which was kind of cool, and she was really nice, and she was drinking. And she goes up, <laughs> and she uh, if, if she's the she shortest, kicks, how, she, uh, 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 did you ask her how many drinks it, it takes to get her drunk? I didn't. I should have. I'll ask her next time. <laughs> because I will. Like if she's the what did I have ever? <laughs> what is it, like half a cup? Maybe not even that. Two I'll sips. find out for you. <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> Go ahead. She walks up and she, I, I think, forgive me if I get this wrong, anyone listening, but I think what happened in order is that she kicked the cop. Or no, she walked up to the cop, she turned around, and she put her hands behind her back, and she goes, arrest me. And he looked at her kind of funny, and she's like, I'm not going to arrest you. And so, uh, so she turns around, she kicks him, and she, and she goes, that's assault on a police officer, arrest me. And and he's like, I'm not going to arrest you, and she goes, I'll punch you in the balls. And he goes, don't do that. <laughs> and uh, and then she asks if she can climb on top of the cop car. That shit's awesome. and, uh, and, and he didn't know what to say, cause he didn't, I, I think he didn't want to tell the midget no. So she gets up on top of the car. He didn't want to tell the midget no. <laughs> so she gets up on top of the hood of the cop car. And she's like, no, this isn't good enough. So she climbs up the windshield and stands on top of the cop car. They end up turning the lights on for her and everything. It was the funniest thing I've seen forever. But yeah, that was uh, getting drunk drunk with the midgets. Trying to that. get arrested. Is it still a compliment if a midget tells you your hair smells good? <laughs> her name is Firefly. She's 36 inches tall. Thank oh, you, Joseph King. Thank you, Joseph. Her name is Firefly. 36 inches tall. Now, uh, you you guys have, uh, you guys are doing this, uh, you're going all over the damn place. You know what, next year we have plans to, um, I hope to be able to leave late winter and not come home until fall. And awesome. uh, basically couch surfing the whole way, visiting in as many shops as I can. Um, when, when you come back through, make sure that you somehow look me up. We will, for sure. Because I'll are tell you... Oh, I, yeah, I we, live here. We haven't made back. the schedule uh, for next year yet. Um, in fact, if anybody has any suggestions on places we should well, go or um, couches we can sleep on, well, let us know. Well, well next year, uh, and I'm, I'm going to tell you in advance, <laughs> oh no! Make sure that you put Hutchinson, Kansas, on your list because I think that's where I'm going to be. <laughs> that sounds good. So, uh, now I'll still be here. Tell us about um, 
your Facebook page. You've got a great fan following over there. It's facebook.com slash beyond the ink. Tell us about... You know, when we when I started Beyond the Ink, um, I was trying to figure out, you know, how some girl from Nebraska was going to be able to Nebraska. pull Nebraska! Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, because I'm just one person, and, and so I started doing my research, and social media apparently is the way to roll these days. Um, you know, everybody's on Facebook. Um, if I'm on Facebook, I, I run the page myself. Uh, we've had a status update almost every day since uh, January when we launched our campaign. Uh, so we like oh. to keep uh, involved with people, um, putting new content up and, and things like that. And anytime anybody talks to the Facebook page, it's me running it. You know, they're talking directly to me. Um, and so that's been that's been great because I've been able to, to get opinions from lots of different people. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are showing their support on there. But more likes we get, the better on that page because um, that's our entire fan base. Now, uh, you were doing a thing with... Uh Something about questions or something today. Do we have any questions from your from your Facebook following, whether it's your personal page or You're what have Do we have uh, any questions out there from anybody? Um, no, no, sorry, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> we're supposed to tell them about What's up with, with, with midgets. Um, with midgets. They like the Ricky Bobby reference. R. F. Bird said, "Sound like that." He was talking about the midget. He goes, "Sound like that gal had nowhere to sleep you know, tonight, and why she right? desperately wanted to be arrested." The Ricky Bobby is a dance. <laughs> There's a dance called the Ricky Bobby. There's a dance called the Ricky Bobby. Yeah. Like it's uh, I was watching CP3 and uh, CP3 Little One last night, and one of the clips that came up is "Do the Ricky Bobby." You're <laughs> running around on fire. Now, uh, I don't know. It's, 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 it's like there. they cross their hands and then they act like they're in a wheelchair. Uh, do you guys have or any sponsors or any, or any, uh... We, we don't have any, um, officially set up for the future, but we have a lot of companies that, uh, we're friends with that have been phenomenal supporters. You know, they've made, they, you know, they've spent some money to take care of us, to help us out. The only reason I was able to do Denver was because of Tommy from Tommy's Tattoo Supplies, which is, a uh, phenomenal, uh, a tattoo supply company in the industry. Um, they've got like Star Bright Ink uh, is their line uh, and things like that. H2 Ocean has been phenomenal to us and you know what? I only want to work with companies that I truly believe in myself and I've used H2 Ocean for years um, personally. So when I was able to meet, you know, the owner, Eddie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what Meredith is doing over here. Oh, no. Anyway, um, but H2 Ocean has been great to us. We hope to work with them more in the future. Matt and Moss from Five Dirty Clothing has been phenomenal to us as well as far as promoting us goes. And cool. he actually uh, gave us a great deal of rushing us in order of stickers for, for a launch party we had in LinkedIn. Um, and uh, inkfreaks.com. Jeff Ink Ink Freaks. Freaks. Oh, yeah. Ink Freaks with a Z on the end. Uh, you got to check that out. Those guys have been phenomenal to us, too. And they've got a great website going. So uh, if uh, if you get a chance, check what was that? I don't know. <laughs> if you get a chance, check out. If you if you're watching us on the UStream, it's 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 quite interesting today. Go to dbjwar.com. Also, uh, check out Hollow Productions on the old Facebook. And uh, Chad, do you have any updates that you can share with the public about what the hell you're doing or anything? Or I'd just like a few make a few notes about the motor series flying to Kansas. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Nothing negative. I'm not going to name names. I just, you know, all you guys seem to be seem to be friends, and you know, somebody can make up stories and say, you know, supposedly I'm a bad promoter when you don't know me from the broad side of the barn door. So don't make assumptions. Uh, the truth is coming. The power will be there, and, and you'll see what I can do. Simple as that. Truth. All right. Who's ready for a hot for teacher segment? I just want a hot teacher. I don't know about a segment. I'm ready. I'm ready to do hot for teachers. Hot for teachers. Is where I find a story online about a teacher sleeping with a student who yes. played the song Hot for Teachers. We're, 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 we're going to do this. Right. We're going to take a oh, couple of okay, time out here real quick. I want to look for the hot for teachers. I already found one. You're too late. No, let let let, let, let her do it since she's in the studio, and then we'll yeah, have you guess. do your second. Well, we'll do both. We'll do two of them. We're going to take it. We're going to take it. We're going to take a quick time out here, and when we come back, hot for teacher segment one, courtesy of. Uh, get, get giggle attack over there. Yeah, that's right. And uh, then we will uh, come back and then Zombie will do his segment. And Bentley will laugh at it. Project Independent is September 20th. And Project Independent is September 20th in the Great City. I am eagerly awaiting the anticipated arrival of Mr. Anaconda Man himself, Mr. SC. 
be mixtape. Um, I know I gotta say that I really hope Sean Young uh, from Gato Negro Tattoo is actually gonna call in. He's been harassing us on our Facebook page, you know, the entire show. So, Sean, call in. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick time out. We'll come back. Talk for teacher. Uh, the giggle perv over there is gonna do that for us. We'll get back. You're on our own <laughs> oh, you're playing your deal. I went to go play music. Whoops. Did you find one or have you found one? <laughs> you just gotta know where to look, my friend. Oh, I found the website. Oh. No, but it's gotta be recent. I found one that was just posted yesterday. It's gotta be recent. You suck. You're so mean. I know how to use Google. <laughs> you're the worst he's, coach. He's ever. meaner than Ross. I'm not that mean. I came in here in a bad mood today, and I apologize if I come off as an asshole today, but I came in here in a bad Quit mood. stubbing your toe and beat off more. You'll be all right. He's bad because we had what's her face Michelle? yesterday. What's up? Like, I fucking asked her. I said, I'm trying to keep her fucking stuff from my friends. She don't want anything to do with it, and now she thinks she needs to be all around my friends, and she doesn't want anything to do with it. Maybe she just wanted to be on the radio show. She was over here like 11 o'clock last night. Maybe, Maybe she don't get a real question time. That's a fucking brilliant idea. I'll call her. No. Yeah, you 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 use the she's at work right you now, dude. No, she's not. I hate you. She got me on my Facebook early because I asked her. I said, what are you doing today? She goes, I just got off work. There's a telephone. So I'll give you the number. <laughs> no. No, we're not calling her on the air. Oh, we're, we're, but you're talking about we're her. We're calling right? you out, sir. No. <laughs> we're not, you can't talk shit on somebody I'm calling not, you and out, not give dude. No, I talk, I, no, her and I fucking talk on the phone and fucking talk about this dude. all the time. No. I think we should get her on. No. No. Diggy. No. <laughs> I'm going to let Bentley dial a number if he would like. No. <laughs> no. It's, it's, the phone is available, sir. No. Come on. Anytime. No. Come on. No. Let's have a lover's quarrel via the phone. No. You find something? I'm, I'm done with it. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm done with it. We've barely been broken up for a month. She's got another boyfriend. She's got another boyfriend. She's fucking already. Zombie, you ready to do yours? We're going to throw it out. I'm still looking for Mike. I just want to make sure I don't get the same one. We'll do it, obviously. We'll take a break. Come back and do it. Not from over here. I kind of stink. I need to take a shower before I go to anything later. Where's my mic? Down there somewhere. Oh, I thought you meant your stand mic. But that's still down there somewhere, too. I saw it over there. Oh, it is the world famous DBJ Guayu show, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, yes, indeed. It is that time again, kids. It is Zombie. We're going to throw an audible here. Zombie is going to do the Hop for Teacher segment, and then we're going to take a quick little timeout, and we're going to let uh, the giggle perv over there do hers. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, Jump in there, Mr. Man. All right. Oh, I gotta, I gotta make sure that I gotta make sure the friggin' uh, camera's set up correctly. At some point, right. we're gonna have a bumper with this music, and I'll have Brother Ken go, "Hot for teacher," you know what I mean? All right. Apparently, in Arvada, Colorado, an assistant principal at Arvada High School admitted to police he was having an affair with a student after his wife found sexually explicit messages on his Facebook page and forced him to turn himself in, according to an arrest affidavit. Anthony Alvarez, 40, was arrested Thursday night on charges of sexual assault on a child by a person in a position of trust. According to the affidavit, Alvarez's wife caught him talking dirty on the phone to a girl on Wednesday and also found X-rated interaction between the two on his face page. Triple X or single X? Uh, it's just, it just a single X. Uh, Alvarez told police he met the girl when he was a teacher at Everett Middle School and Wheat Ridge, and she was in 7th grade, according to the affidavit. He told police that the girl who was now a 16-year-old student at, at uh, uh, uh -oh. what? I'll call her back in a minute. Go ahead. Uh, blah, 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 would come to his office, talk to him daily, and entice him by whispering dirty words to him. He told police that the girl was uh, the one who came to him, according to the affidavit. He said he was not a predator, and he never before had any sexual relationship or sexual contact with anyone under the age of 18. This is what we He do. has had affairs before, but they were over the age of 18, according to the affidavit. Get Skype going. I know that's Yeah. All right. And we got Skype, so we're going to get that going that, now. That was Paris. 
All right, we're, 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 we're calling Paris back. We're going to go, Paris. We're going to throw an audible here. That was our hot for teacher segment from Zombie. And we're going to let Giggle Perv do one. <laughs> Hold on, talk one. to Paris first, because it's not only me working on it, another member of our team. Paris? Are you there? Paris. Uh, Paris, 